Hi everyone, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support us on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is the daily forecast originally created. It's for all signs and um, it's a collective reading. It's originally created for Tuesday, September 20th. It is not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date, by all means, utilize it whenever you're seeing it, if it fits um, with your situation. Um, what was I going to say? If it doesn't fit, that's okay. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. you're doing anything wrong or anything's, you know, broken. You're not off your path. It just may not be. Anything. For those of you that are new, please check out the drop-down menu. In there is um, things I want you to think about when you're watching your reading. What decks I'm using. Um, ways to contact me via social media for a private reading. And simple ways to support the channel. Uh, ways to support the channel, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video out, let your friends and, you know, loved ones know about me, and leave me a question or comment, I greatly appreciate all of that. So let's see where this energy is going. I will refer back to the um, Sunday reading, which, under, uh, which underpins the energy of the week. It's like another layer beneath these cards. So if you hear me talking about a card, you don't see. I'm referencing back to there. That video populates in the lower left-hand corner. You can watch that after this to get a better sense of how the week is going and what energies are at play in the background while we're dealing with these cards. So let's see what's going on here. What is Tuesday the 20th one for this reading? What does what do we need to know? And the card is the sun. Not mad at this card. One of the most positive cards in the deck. Bright, sunny day, right? Associated with the sign of Leo, always oftentimes a yes. If you're asking a yes, no question during this reading, the answer is probably yes or affirmative, right? This could dovetail into information coming clear or being seen, right? Being understood. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, the sun will bring about an opportunity for us to see clearer, understand better, feel more full, full of energy, full of life, full of positivity, um, the sun kind of guides us and grows us, right? It, that's the sun's role. So we should feel energized. And this is major arcana energy. So this should be sort of a big day. If I remember correctly, we had all majors for, well, we had the nine of cups, which underpins this. So that's that emotional security and feeling well emotionally. This is probably us beaming that out. Or not only are we beaming out that nine of cups of receptivity and emotional well-being underpinning this, but we also might be receiving positivity, new information, light, um, you know, uh, awareness that helps us, that serves us, that grows us in some way, shape or form. I do like that this baby here is naked. We often see the baby in a traditional tarot deck um, depicted naked on, the, on a white horse of purity. So there is this like sort of loving our true essence today is key and important, especially with the Nine of Cups underneath this. Owning who we are, how we feel, and the truth of that can be very powerful. Putting that out into the world via the sun um, and allowing that to be our guide today is also um, very powerful. The fact that this is associated with the sign of Leo and the fire signs, and um, yesterday's reading we had that desire um, uh, grounding stone, it, they sort of also kind of coincide with one another. The grounding stone for the week is trust. And with the sun's presence in this reading, we can trust everything that we're doing, seeing, feeling, and uh, doing, seeing, hearing, and especially feeling with that nine of cups underneath this. Now, um, let's see what the shamanic medicine oracle wants us to know. I would say today is also a day to get, I think Gus wants in. He's out there barking in the backyard. Hold on, let me let him in. Jesus. Gus is making up. So the sun can also, to me, be about making commitments to things desire that we want and taking action and moving in that way in a very positive direction, like with lots of positivity and affirmation, moving forward towards that. 
and not like necessarily letting anybody stop us. The sun can also represent a clarity or an idea of which way to move forward, right? The sun casts light onto things that, you know, we otherwise maybe didn't see, but in a good way, right? Not like maybe with justice where the truth comes out and it could be negative. <laughs> This to me is always a positive card. So expect to take action today. Expect to like, you know, maybe forge new paths or begin steps towards new paths and taking that action and feeling good about it ultimately. So the uh, shamanic medicine deck, let's see what they have to say. Oh, interesting. New one. Uh, conch shell or conch shell and it's calling. What's interesting to me is this is so dark blue, almost purple, right? To me, this is about the, uh, the, I instantly go to the seventh chakra, which is our knowing at the crown of our head. That deep blue purple color makes me think of that chakra. And when we hear calling, and that chakra, it's like trusting our highest of intuition. And the sun being that of spirit is drawing within us a very positive reaction or a positive affirmation, especially with the nine of cups underpinning this, of how we feel and what we intuit. And then answering that call or listening to that call that is maybe within us, the sound of the conch shell being, you know, when it's blown, it's like, woo. So if there's some sort of um, message, desire, um, need or want that's within you that's not necessarily um, negative, that would feel positive, that would feel right, that would feel in alignment to who you are, listen to that calling, go after it, let that calling come out from deep inside of you is sort of my feeling and allow it to move you forward. It should be beneficial and beautiful and, and feel sound and, and kind of grounded, especially with the nine of cups underneath all of this. Let me read Conch Shell to you. Conch shell serves as a wake-up call. Ignore it at your peril. Your destiny awaits and needs to be discovered. Conch shells are used as shamanic trumpets. They were sounded by tribal people such as the Nagas of Northeast India to announce impending natural disasters. Remember, guys, I believe our midweek card is the tower. So, But I didn't get a feeling that that tower was our tower. It may belong to somebody else. Something might be falling apart for somebody else because this sun is too positive to me, right? It could be shedding light on somebody else's scenario or situation. And also that card from the Sunday reading of Shapeshifter was a shift or a change of perspective. The large sea snail shells are used by shamans all over the world to assist in healing and in ceremony. The vibrational, vibration and primal cord of conch shell can blast away any blocks from, and objections from your critical mind and from others as you strive towards your personal and sacred path. That's that sun card lighting that path, guys. Shut out the noisy distractions in the modern world and connect with your true essence and that of spirit by going deep into silence. Once in this place of sanctuary, you will find you become more sensitive to the sounds of the human breath and the spirit that verifies everything. Here, you will discover your true place in the cosmos. You will feel and better understand an inner urge or strong impulse that is accompanied by the conviction of divine inspiration. Conch shell revealed. Small trumpets and sea or seashell horns have been used worldwide since the Upper Paleolithic period. In Fiji, triton shells announced the death of a chief and his rite of passage back to the sea. In ancient temples through Central and South America, trumpeters used the conch shell to call on the dead. In Hindu mythology, the Shanka is a Shanka is a sacred emblem of the god Vishnu, representing the sound of the universe itself. Aum. Other divinatory meanings. Wake up. Your busy lifestyle is blocking out the voice of spirit. Enjoy the sound of silence and listen to your inner wisdom. Take steps to embrace your life's purpose. Trust your intuition and follow your dreams. Your true calling is your priority. Don't divert. Conch shell speaks. Originally from oceans deep, I blast my sound. Wake from your sleep. Heed my call. Embrace the notion. Take the path of true devotion. With this sun card and the nine of cups underneath this, I think that true devotion is to ourselves, right? And our own truth. The wisdom and the, uh, the light that the sun would shine upon our truth, we should be able to uh, harness it, own it wholeheartedly and with like a very positive um, position today. Does that make sense? So listen to your own calling and remember that grounding stone of trust is also like trusting in that what is your path, what is your desire, what is it that you want. Um, the end card this week is that lovers and lovers oftentimes it signifies a, a relationship two people and for some of you it may but this also might just be like readjusting ourselves into falling into more alignment with who we are what our calling is and trusting that and those lovers cards uh, the lover card that underpins the end of the week could be the union or reconnection of that with 
within ourselves. For those of you that are, you know, uh, proud single, not looking for love. So let's see what's going on in the clarifiers really quick. We have the three of cups. So more cups, water, energy, joy, celebration, appreciating ourselves and others, celebrating who we are on the, on the back of that sun card. This should be an extremely positive moment um, of not only like trusting and loving within ourselves, but also sharing that with others, who we truly are, how we truly feel, what we truly know, allowing that to imbue into our relationships and the collaboration of that to be celebratory and, and wonderful. Judgment. Judgment is associated with the sign of Scorpio, right? And all of this nine of cups, three of cups, water energy is quite, you know, a connected to judgment. Judgment is about answering the call. For those of you that are in like maybe love relationships or watching somebody that might be heading into a tower moment or falling apart or doing whatever that it is that they're doing, this is about answering the call in the sense of where I think that we need to love them through this. We need the positivity of the sun and the ground and the sort of the groundedness in who we are and how we feel of the nine of cups. And then the celebration of the three of cups, we lift them up, we hold them up, but we don't necessarily do it for them right? I love that this angel is present, right? Because this also signifies like spirits calling us. And we have calling here in the conch shell. It's Archangel Gabriel with his horn. Are we listening to the sound within? Are we listening to the desire of what it is that we want? Are we trusting that right now? Judgment is major arcana. It's asking us to step up to the plate and get the job done. Follow, like, you know, follow. It can be a soulmate card, right? But it can also be just a calling card of like, are you ready? Because you know that the feeling is within you. <clears throat> you know that the desire is there. You know that the path is there. Now's the time to step forward and uh, make that choice, right? Or, you know, reunion with whatever it is that you were going after. It's now the time. And then the last card is the Four of Swords, which this indicates a little bit about that tower that's that midweek energy. Whether we're experiencing that tower or someone else dear to us is, the Four of Swords is about clearing our mind, not letting pessimism lead, not letting the voices of others sort of guide us, but our own truth. It's about rest. It's about recuperation. It's about meditation and going inward, trusting our own thoughts, balancing and like foundationally securing our thoughts and how we communicate in a very clear and precise way. Sometimes the Four of Swords can be about not communicating at this time, right? Saving it for ourselves, maintaining our energy. But there is a lot of celebration here with between the Three of Cups, the Sun, and even Judgment is a celebratory card if we make the, the correct choice that feels right within our spirit, that calling that's happening within us. If we're trusting that, we're listening to that, and especially with the Four of Swords, we're listening to that at a, at a we're like creating the time and the space to go inward, to listen to that voice and to follow it and trust it. We are answering that call and it should be celebrated as positive. Now let's go to the grounding stone. And we are grounding today in hope. Hope is a powerful energy. It opens us up to all kinds of avenues, outcomes, and possibilities, right? Hope also kind of keys into trust. There's trust is like, to me, trust is about obviously trusting what we know to be true or what it is that we desire. But hope is about, there's like a little added positivity with hope. Hope is like, okay, I trust this, but I hope that it can be this, right? I hope that there, um, it, it, I don't want to say that I hope we're doing the right thing because the clarity of the sun and these cards here feel like we are going to know that we're doing the right thing. Even if the right thing may be an action or a can, way of communicating that is quieter or different than how we have in the past, we have to trust that and move forward in hope that everything has and serves a higher purpose. That's that judgment card in all of this. That is your forecast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.